My mistake. After seeing potential in Goku's new divine powers, Beerus changed course, deciding that the Super Saiyan God was not, in fact, arch-rival material. Hey everybody, Captain Ginyu here, and welcome to the show. Today I'm bringing you another episode of the Dragon Balls deck series. The decks I plan to showcase in this series are for the more casual DBS player out there. Now, we all know meta decks are cool and all, but you're not going to see any of that here. I want to take a different approach with this series and hopefully show you guys some decks that won't break the bank and you can get from your local game store just from ripping packs with your friends. Now, some of the decks in this series may not be up to the best meta date, but it doesn't mean you still can't sleeve them up and have a good night with your friends sitting around playing some Dragon Ball Super. Now we have another deck brought to you by me. Links to everything can be found below in the description of this video. Now without further interruptions, let's get into this deck deck. I'm also not going to go over the price of every card. The price will be listed below and it will be the price found on DBS decks at the time of recording this video. So for each card, I'm not going to say the amount you're going to need for the deck list. There's going to be a little Dragon Ball in the upper right hand corner and that's going to tell you how many you're going to need. So now let's get into the main deck. So for the leader card in this deck, we have Mira 1 with Darkness. Here we are looking at the front side, Mira. Its activate main ability is choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. This card gains 5,000 power for the duration of its turn. You can place the top three cards of your deck in the drop area. Its awakened ability is when you're at four or less life, you can choose two of your energy, switch them to active mode, and flip this card over. The leader front has 10,000 power. Here we are looking at the leader back, Mira 1 with Darkness. When this card attacks, draw a card. Its activate main ability, it lets you take three cards from your warp and put them back in your drop area, and then giving this leader card an extra 5,000 power. The leader back has 15,000 power. So for the first card in this deck deck, we have Absolute Attack Mira, 4 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. It has Overrealm 4 for no cost. So when this card attacks, your opponent can't activate blockers. This card has 20,000 power. Next up in the deck, we have Beyond Darkness Demigra, 10 any and 1 for 10,000 combo power. This card has Ultimate. It is Dark Overrealm with 7 for 5. This card also has Triple Strike. And when this card attacks, you can look at your opponent's hand and choose 4 battle cards from them and combo with them. This card has 40,000 power. Next up in the deck we have Dark Absorption Mira, 3 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card has Overrealm 3 with no cost. This card also has Union Absorb for 4. Place one towel from your warp underneath this card and if your leader card is an android you can choose one towel or mira with an energy cost of 7 in your hand or warp and play them on top of this card in active mode. This card has 15,000 power. Next up we have Dark Control Demon God Demigra, 4 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card has Dark Overrealm with 4 for 3. When this card attacks, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and send it to their warp and if that's a battle card you can combo with it. This card has 20,000 power. Next up we have Dimension Breaker Mira for 5 any and 1 for 10,000 combo power. This card has Xeno Evolve for 5 over a Mira. This card also has Double Strike. So when you evolve into this card, if you have 5 or more cards in your warp, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to their warp. And if you have 10 or more cards in your warp, you can choose one of your opponent's energy and send it to their warp. This card has 25,000 power. Next up in the deck, we have Dimension Control Demigra for 4 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card has Overrealm with 4 for 1. If you attack the same turn that you Overrealm with this card, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and send it to their warp. And if it was a battle card, you can combo with that card. This card has 20,000 power. So for the next card in this deck deck, we have Encroaching Darkness Demigra. 4 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card is Overrealm with 4 for no cost. This card gives all Demigra cards with an energy cost of 7 Xeno Evolve for 3. So when you play this card, you can't play any non-black battle cards for the duration of the turn. And your opponent can't attack with battle cards with an original power of 10,000 or less until the duration of their next turn. This card has 10,000 power. Next up we have Gravy in Demigra's Thrall. 2 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. When you attack or combo with this card, if your leader card is black, choose 2 cards in your warp and add them to your drop. This card has 15,000 power. Next up in the deck we have Mirror Creator Absorb, 7 any and 1 for 10,000 combo power. This card is Overrealm with 4 for 1. This card also has Deflect. When you play this card using Union, your opponent chooses 3 cards from their hand and send it to their warp. This card gains Double Strike for the duration of the turn. And when this card attacks, it gains 5,000 power for each card in your warp. Yes, that's each card in your warp. This card also has 30,000 base power. Next up in the deck we have Mira from the Darkness, 4 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card is Overrealm with 4 for no cost. 
When you play this card using Overrealm, it gains critical for the duration of the turn. This card has 20,000 power. Next up in the deck, we have Mira Self Reformation. 5 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card is Double Strike and Deflect. You can Union Absorb for no cost. Choose one Tawa in your warp and place it underneath this card. If your leader card is Tawa or Android, choose one Mira card in your deck with an energy cost of 7 played in active mode on top of this card. If you have 10 or more black battle cards in your warp, reduce the energy cost of this card by 1. This card has 20,000 power. Next up in the deck we have Power Burst for 1. Counter Attack. If your leader card is black, choose up to 1 black battle card in your drop area or warp with an energy cost of 1 and add it to your hand. You can activate this card's counter skill if you have 5 or more cards in your drop area by taking a life instead of paying its energy cost. Next up we have Poutine and Demigra's Thrall, 1 any and 0 for 5000 combo power. This card has Blocker. When you play this card, if your leader card is Demigra, place up to the top 2 cards of your deck in your drop area. This card has 4000 power. Next up in the deck we have Smiling Madness Toa, 4 any and 0 for 5000 combo power. This card is Xeno Evolve for 4 over a Toa. This card has Double Strike. When a card evolves into this card, if your leader card is Android, choose one card in your hand and place it in the drop area. And if you do, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 3 or less and gain control of it. This card has 20,000 power. Next up in the deck we have Sun Goku making an entrance, 1 any and 0 for 0 combo power. This card is counter attack and negate the attack play of this card. This card has 5000 power. Next up we have Temporal Darkness Demigra, 7 any and 1 for 10,000 combo power. This card has Dark Overrealm with 7 for 4. When you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to their warp. Then choose one of your battle cards with an energy cost of 4 or less from the warp and play it. This card has 30,000 power. Next up in the deck we have Temporal Rescue Trunks, 2 any and 0 for 10,000 combo power. This card is Super Combo. This card's ability is activated when you have 5 or more cards in your drop area. When you combo with this card, if your leader card is black, draw a card. This card has 10,000 power. Next up in the deck, we have Tawa Dimension Leaper, 2 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. This card has Blocker and Revenge. This card also has Counterplay, choose 2 cards from your drop and send them to your warp and play this card. Keep in mind you do still have to pay the 2 for the Counterplay. This card has 1,000 power. And finally in the deck, we have Tawa Space Time Unleashed, 1 any and 0 for 5,000 combo power. When you play this card, you can look at the top 7 cards of your deck, choose 1 Mira or Mass Sand among them and add it to your hand. This card has 5,000 power. And now let's check out the side deck. And here we have the price breakdown from DBS decks. This being a mono black deck and all, you're going to do a lot of overwhelming. But don't think throwing away all those cards is going to be bad. When you see what happens when that 7 drop mirror comes out, you're going to be pretty surprised. Now getting there is pretty easy. You can either use the uh, dark absorption chain and it lets you go through by taking a towel and slipping it underneath that card. Or if you end up getting a little further on in the game, the mirror self reform chain does the same thing. Now don't think this demigra chain is any slouch. The Encroaching Darkness Demigra ends up giving all 7 drops Xeno Evolve and letting them just come down for 3. Which means that big Temporal Darkness may come out faster than you think. Now here we have just a few cards that are going to help you kind of get through the mid game. When you use an Absolute Attack Mira, it doesn't let your opponents use Blocker for the turn. The Mirror from Darkness gives critical just uh, denying your opponents and resources. And you'll definitely have 10 or more cards in your warp area when the Dimension Breaker Mirror comes down so you can end up just uh, negating one of your opponent's energy and putting it in their warp. And if your opponent has something that you kind of really really like that's 3 or less you can steal it with Smiling Tawa. And finally right when you're about to win the game you just drop the SCR and slam and steamroll your opponent. I just want to say thank you to all the guys and you know who you are. Without you guys this decklist series would have never actually gotten off the ground so the part of this is actually yours. So thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of the Dragon Balls deck series. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you'll try this deck out with your friends at your LGS or at home at the kitchen table. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe for future Dragon's Nest deck lists. And as we say up here in the Great White North, have a good one and keep her going, eh?